Philly in the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up to Sports and Icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. So Tyson Fury, he says that he will not be dictated to by any of the sanctioned bodies. Of course, that includes his current one of the WBC. Now, he does have form for this uh, with IBF. Um, he refused to take on his IBF mandatory right after he defeated Klitschko because he'd already agreed a rematch with Vladimir Klitschko. So he refused to take on Glasgow. He got stripped of the belt. So we can say that when he says, I refuse to do what, what the sanctioned bodies tell me to do, we can kind of take it to the bank in quite a few ways. Again, more examples. He was ordered to fight Deontay Wilder in the immediate rematch after the first one. He said to WBC, jog on. And he signed a five fight deal with Top Rank and ESPN for $100 million. And when he fought Tom Schwartz and Otto Wallin. Did he not? It's true, right? And then of course he was ordered to fight Dillian White for the WBC Diamond Belt. Again, he told him to jog on. I ain't fighting Dillian White and went and fought Otto Wallin. So even though he told WBC, go screw yourself, I'm not going to do, do whatever it is that you tell me to do. He still got awarded by become mandatory for Jontae Wilder, even though he hadn't fought a final eliminator. It's weird that, isn't it? So is it a case of the WBC will just go, okay, Tyson, you can do whatever you like, Tyson. And he's going to go, you're damn right. I'm your boss, remember? Maybe, who knows? Now, what he's pretty much talking about here is the fact that even if the WBC were to order, so let's just say Tyson Fury defeats Deontay Wilder and Diddy White defeats Azan Povetkin, this fight will be ordered for February. So is he saying that he's going to turn down Diddy White? He's going to vacate the belt, become franchise champion, or just walk around and call yourself lineal if you want. If, if people put stock in it, you do. If you don't, you don't. But he's going to walk around with a Rocky Balboa belt, right? The Ring Magazine, which, let's be honest, for many weight divisions, the person who carries that ring magazine is generally regarded the number one. Not always, but generally. So he, he could go down that route and then go fight Joshua, but Joshua won't be for undisputed because he's not carrying the WBC anymore. I mean, if he's happy with knowing that he's won every single belt that there is to, is to win and he doesn't care whether or not his name is in the record books as undisputed, then that's cool. Because even though he has one on the belts and he is undefeated, he, he's not undisputed because he hasn't held all the belts at the same time. That's what you need to be in the official record board. So if, if he's quite willing to not fight Dillian White, vacate the belt and go fight Joshua for no belt, then why not just vacate the belt now? If you're not beholden to it, then vacate the belt now. You're not refusing to fight Wilder, you can still fight Wilder, but the belt, belt won't be on the line. Much like when he fought um, Vladimir Klitschko, he won all those belts and rather than, than do the contractual rematch, he ended up getting stripped of the IBF and vacated the other ones. The WBO, the IBO and the WBA. I mean, what happened when he done that? Did he get fined? Did he get banned from boxing for life? No, of course not. So just do the same with the WBC then. So if you're quite willing to fight Joshua and it's not for undisputed, then what's the point of keeping hold of your belt now then? What's the point in defending against Wilder? Just vacate it and Dylan White will fight Wilder. Because Dylan White is the interim World Heavyweight Champion, so he will become automatic full champion. Then he can defend that against, if the WBC want to order it, Deontay Wilder. Why not? And that's my point. Unless he does want to become undisputed, if you do want to become undisputed, then you're going to have to do exactly what the WBC tell you what to do in order to keep your belt. Because he's not going to be fighting Joshua until the summertime. So between him taking on Wilder in November up to Joshua, in the summertime. This ordered fight with Dillian White in February, there's plenty enough time. If uh, Dillian White is a dishwasher or a stocky plodder, whatever it is that he called him, it, um, an easy fight, then he, should, he shouldn't have too much problem in fighting Dillian White in February, dispatching Dillian White and go and fight Anthony Joshua. Now, even though he does put down Dillian White, he does rate him. Again, he kind of let us know that with his uh, top five heavyweight rankings, where he put himself as number one, of course. Um, Deontay Wilder, number two, again, of course, because he's, already, he, he's already just come off of a victory with Wilder. He's going to fight him again. So he's got to put him on a pedestal. Um, then he's put Anthony Joshua as number three. 
Then he's put Usyk as number four and Dillian White as number five. So by putting Dillian White as number five, that's telling you that he does actually rate Dillian White. But my whole point is that if he's not willing to fight Dillian White because he's being ordered and, he, and he's quite happy to just vacate the belt, then vacate the belt now and go fight Joshua now. If you vacate the belt, you haven't got to fight Wilder. Dillian can fight Wilder instead. You go fight Joshua, it won't be for undisputed. Joshua can then give Paul every step aside money and do the fight now. What are you gonna wait till the summer for? Or, or is he just saying it? Could be, right? Anyway, listen, you guys drop your thoughts below. If he fights Wilder and keeps the belt, fights Wilder and defeats Wilder, and then while he's sat around or sitting around waiting for the Joshua fight in the summer when he could be fighting Denny White, if he vacates that belt rather than fight Denny White, is that a duck? If you're a Fury fanatic, you'll say, no, no, of course not, of course not. He doesn't want to waste his time. All right, maybe. But for me, I will consider that a duck, to be honest with you. Honestly. Uh, so if Fury is genuinely serious that he's not going to be dictated to and he will just vacate the belt, then vacate it now. If you're quite happy to fight Joshua not for undisputed, then vacate it now. Why are you wasting everybody's time? Why are we going to wait till the summer? Go fight him now, right? Anyway, drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.